Hello everyone. So I basically took over the Sand Tribe. We've already been gathering a lot of supplies from making them work pretty much 24-7. But the Elders wants us to fix their food problem. Now, gathering food is like the only thing they can do, so why do I need to fix it? But anyway, the Hunter should tell us more about this. He will probably tell us that we need to get a Hunter's Hut, which we already have. So we should be able to fly for this quest. Oh well, I did not expect that. I actually have to hunt. I mean, we already kind of know how to hunt, especially seeing that you need all the leather for the altar that you have to fix for them. Just as a quick tip, if you press left alt, you'll go into hunter vision, which allows you to highlight the animals. And I love this entire line. There are stories, you know, stories that used to travel from the north, a food unbreaking of ways to protect the food from inevitable betrayal of our greatest enemy, time. He basically means it's frozen, I would imagine. All right, well, he basically said he missed his workshop. He probably didn't look in the other forested area because we already built him the hunter's hut. All right, the hunter basically became the scout for this area. So if we need more people, we talk to that guy. Also, we suddenly gained a lot of people, five to be exact. I guess that's because this tribe finally trusts us enough and now we officially took over. Well, don't mind if I do, I suppose. I'll just put them to work on all these areas and then I still have one left. All right, Elder, why are you all the way over there, man? All right, we need to perform a new ritual, the Gift of Clay. They basically want us to get Brimestone and that is how we advance from what she says. I did not mean to click that. That is this one. We can actually immediately do it. All right, burn all that. We now got the Potter's Hut. So where is the, there was a Potter Bench. I did say it has the best reach for clay. So I wonder if this place is used to gather clay and not to make like pottery or something. Or it might do both, who knows. Also, when I was out on my journeys, I got a couple more totems. For right now, I think I'm gonna put in the obsidian totem. We originally do have to put down the bamboo totem, however. Make a little statue as well. Oh man, that statue looks amazing. All right, then we switch this one out. So what can this thing all get? It can get our clay. We might actually have it set to that because we don't have a lot of it. All right, now we have to make explosives. So how do we even get to that? I was talking about brinestone, but can we even like get our brinestone? Well, if anything though, let's actually focus on getting all these rituals done. I'm going to be 45 of each, so I'm going to be sitting here crafting for the next 500 hours. Almost done. You know, I can see the use of the shaman hut now. I've been crafting for like a solid 10 to 15 minutes, man. Absolutely ridiculous. But the good news is, we should be able to get pretty much everything now. So we got the medium sleep hut, unlock the clay totems, and then the final blasting in this line, the blasting of mastery which allows us to craft a pickaxe, which we'll probably need in the next area, as well as stone statues. I actually don't know what they do. A basic ingredient for many rituals requires stone slate, okay? So I'm guessing the next area, stone land, will need mushroom decorations as well as stone statues. So we're gonna need a fact ton of clay bowls again. Oh man, I was just, I just made so many of them, man. Right anyway, let's make ourselves the pickaxe and let's prepare ourselves for the journey. Now I might want to head back home first, because we should have a ton of resources stocked up by now. Because even though I would say we weren't really low on anything, it will never hurt to bring more supplies. I imagine the rhinestone they're talking about that we need is actually the Divine Sand. As it does come from a rock, it looks kind of yellow. You know, it kind of looks brimstone-y. Right, we're back at this monstrosity of a building again. I do want to check out around here first. You visited Ocean Gate. What? There is something in between sand and rock land. I imagine this is where we eventually have to build the ship then. Well, the reason why I wanted to come here is to check if we could find another of those blessing altars. But I don't see any, so suppose they're not here. Let's head over to the explosive site. It is a little bit blocked. But I guess they did say there was a huge trembling here. Yeah, that is... That is blocked, all right. Now what do we need? A ton of clay, ton of leather, some wood. I don't know why we have to make it look like this, but... You know what? Sure. We don't even have enough Divine Sand on us. Well, luckily, though, Divine Sand isn't that hard to get. Right, I'm pretty sure we only need, like, 25 of it. So instead of just running all the way back, may as well just mine it real quick. 
And let's hope that this is the last of the Divine Saints. And that it is. Boom. <laughs> okay, maybe that's what we needed to make. The little dude. Alright. So what are these rocks then? Solate stone. You know, we're probably going to need a ton of this stuff. So I'll be quickly mining some up. Man, the range really coming down in this area. Ooh, a ton of mushrooms. We're also going to need a ton of these. Well, we found the village. What's up, priestess? All right, so it turns out that it wasn't ice. They actually seem to have some sort of salt here. At least that's what I can gather from it. And that is what makes the food last longer. Now though, we need to construct a marketplace. I'm guessing the altar is up here? Yes, all right, good, good. All right, I think first things first though, we either need to find a bed in one of these houses, or I'm just gonna start crafting my workshop first. Sleep that crazy thunder away. Oh man, it's so peaceful and quiet now. All right, we needed five of these for the first ritual. And then five mushroom decoration, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if we can make those real quick. Because then we can just freely teleport in between areas. So, let's quickly do the travel to the North Star Altar blessing, I guess. There we go. Now we should be freely able to teleport. And we can start construction on this marketplace here. I will admit, we're probably not going to use it. We haven't been using the other ones either. But right, there we go. Talk to the priestess again. All right, the priestess is going to tell the disciple that we are trustworthy. Or at least that she trusts us. Seems like we are going to have to find the disciple, though. Which, my goodness, he seems to be quite far out. All right, seems like these guys are actually worshipping Fire Mountain. Unlike us, who apparently worship winds and waters. All right, so they think they're forsaken by their god which is the volcano. And they're not allowed to basically hunt or produce food by the sounds of it. We are going to make farms, I guess. What the hell is all this? Oh, spices and spiced food. That's not even salt though, like I assumed it would be. Well, this area looks somewhat special. It's like giant mushrooms here and there's like a ton that actually grow around here. I will say though, these other biomes, they do have more interesting stuff to look at compared to the first one. But again, it doesn't seem like exploring is worth much here, as there's no, like, totems or anything around. The area does look quite nice, though, and there's, like, a ton of spots where you could set up a village. Also, the priestess is quite far away from the village, it seems like. All right, we told the priestess that the conversation didn't go so well. She told us to collect a bunch of mushrooms and basically perform the ritual Boon of Growth, which will unlock the farming's hut. All right. But I think we'll be doing that next episode. As we already done quite a bit, we basically did like half the story in the sand place. And now we're already in Stoneland. I tried to explore as much as I could from Stoneland. Doesn't seem to be any totems here. So I might have to look in Grassland at some point again. Because I don't think I've been to the southern part much. The totems might be over there. And I'm talking about these shrine unlock thingies. For now though, I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone.